Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and my first ever video. So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing just a get to know me Q&A over on my Instagram. I asked all my followers to if they could put questions in a box for me, um, for me to answer in this video. So I've got loads on my phone. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> um, the first one is what's my age how old am i so i'm 18 years old uh, my birthday was in october um so yeah next one what am i studying what do i study am i at uni or college so i'm actually at sixth form studying psychology sociology and maths don't ask why i chose maths because i don't even know myself biggest regret <laughs> um yeah what do i do for work so at the weekends i work at new look um retail not the best <laughs> but yeah um what's my favorite color 100 percent pink like don't get me wrong i am a pink lover but i am loving chocolate brown also black and white you know the one color i don't like green not for me any siblings yes um i actually do have two brothers but i only see one of them um the one that i live with is eight years old so yeah relationship status um taken <laughs> i've been in a relationship for about a year and a half now uh favorite time of the day and why Oh, a hundred percent night time. Like, not a morning person whatsoever. Hate the mornings with a passion. You won't see me up before nine, ten a.m. I hate them. <clears throat> um, favorite snack? Anything I can find in the cupboard. Anything. <laughs> Other food huns. What can I say? <laughs> favorite thing to do go out to eat, go out to get drunk, <laughs> um, mm, I love watching TV series, like binge watching them, 100%, thing I fear most, don't want to be too morbid and all, but death, 100%, um, <laughs> am I missing netball, yes, obviously <laughs> i'm such a sporty person and not being able to do any sport during lockdown has been awful awful like i know you can exercise but i'm just not into all of that stuff <laughs> if i were a cocktail what would i be porn star martini hands down like who doesn't love a porn star like <laughs> i do <laughs> how has lockdown treated me um, what have I been doing to keep motivated and staying positive? Fun fact, lockdown has not treated me very well. <laughs> God, well the first one didn't anyway, it was bloody awful. But then, at least it was sunny and at least I could go out. And now we bloody can't because it's dark at 3pm. <laughs> um, to be honest, it's hard to stay motivated like there's not much to do the only things i've been really doing is obviously making sure that i'm in a bit of a routine because otherwise i'll be a mess like i'll never get out of bed um and staying positive i have my down days but so do we all like it's just oh like i cry some days i'm happy some some days it's all in one but yeah um first thing i'm going to do after lockdown go out for food go out to get drunk oh get my eyelashes on first and my nails like can't go out without them um oh favorite music artist and my favorite song honestly i hate that question because i don't have a favorite artist i don't have favorite songs like i just have such a weird music taste like i'll listen to whatever and that is the truth 
I probably mostly listen to anything my boyfriend listens to. Um, favourite outfit of 2020 and favourite item of clothing. I don't have a favourite outfit of 2020. Just my style back then wasn't the best. I did really like this O-Poly dress that I wore out for my birthday. It was like a red satin thing. I loved it. But no. <laughs> um, my favourite item of clothing. Loungewear, 100%. Oversized jumpers, joggers. Hun, you will not get me out of these. <laughs> um, best clothes shop that is cheap. Um... ASOS is cheap, fairly. Oh, I get all my clothes off ASOS. It is amazing, love it. Um, obviously, like basics, like Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo. They're not my faves, if I'm honest, though. Obviously, Shein, Shein, I don't know. I got this jumper from her. It's cheap, fast fashion, no. Not the best, but what can I say? Um, Favourite brands, Zara, ASOS, Miss Pap, Top Frey they are, I love them. <laughs> um, fashion inspo, I like a bit of everyone, like, I don't know, if I see an account I'm like, love that outfit, I'll save it. But I might not like the rest of their outfits, you know, like, <laughs> um, my free top ones though, like, off the top of my head will have to be Jess Hunt, um, Miss Jocelyn and Chloe Henry. I'll put their Instagrams up here for you if you want to go check them out. <laughs> um, ooh, fave fashion style, oversized, baggy everything, love it, it's a bit of me. <laughs> Biggest inspiration. Uh, I don't really want to sound, oh, it does sound too cliche, but my mum, because she's a single mum who's raised us very well, um, and she's got a really good career, so she's done really well for herself. Um, dream job, and is my goal to be an influencer? Um, I don't really have a dream job whatsoever. <laughs> Um, I've got two main like different career paths. One is to be a psychiatrist and go to uni, um, but the other is um, to do fashion buying and I've been accepted for a course in London in September. So I'm not too sure which like <laughs> route I wanna go down yet. Um, and no, my goal is not to be an influencer, not at all. I couldn't imagine it like it's just not for me like I love creating content don't get me wrong I do enjoy it um I just wouldn't want to be an influencer <laughs> dream brand to work with ASOS 100% oh my god imagine getting gifted from ASOS <laughs> maybe one day <laughs> speak into the future um uh, my aesthetic Honestly, don't really have one. Like I love anything minimalistic and, but I don't really have one. I just go with the flow. <laughs> um, ooh, what inspires me to do YouTube and why have I chosen to do YouTube? Mainly because 2020 was a bit of a rubbish year <laughs> I didn't really achieve anything like, if I look back I'll be like it was just another year added to my life I didn't do anything fun didn't learn anything nothing it was awful so I just thought this year I want to step out my comfort zone do something a bit different <laughs> and just see where it takes me and yeah that's why I've decided to try and grow my Instagram a bit and also come on YouTube <laughs> Um, something I'm overly proud of, God, that's a hard one, um, oh God, probably how far I've come in education, <laughs> because there's been so many times I've literally 
like wanted to drop out or been that literally dropping out because I just hate hate it so much and I have really struggled it's it's not been easy let's say that um and also how confident I've become and content with my life like this time last year I was just so naive and definitely was struggling a lot and now I look back and I'm like oh, wow like so much has changed um what makes me the happiest definitely like my friends my family and my boyfriend um oh and just like spending time with them and then going out doing like activities <laughs> you know <laughs> just interaction <laughs> um top thing on my bucket list has to be traveling like if i win the lottery I'd be out. Depends how much though. <laughs> but if I had a lot of money, I mean, you wouldn't see me for a few years because I just think, like, you only live once. You should go and see the world. Like, there's so much out there other than this little town that we live in. <laughs> and I would just love to experience everything else. And I'd love to live abroad. Like, how amazing would that be? The language barrier would be a bit difficult. But. <laughs> Um, where do I see myself in five or ten years? Um, five years I'll be 23. I just want to be tanned, you know, happy, living life. I literally don't know because five years seems quite soon. I'm not too sure. But for ten years I can definitely say like I would love to be married. I would love to have a child by then. Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully life treats me well and I, that can happen, but I don't know. Um, goals I am working towards. Mm, or my goal for this year. Ooh. Definitely to, to know by September, obviously, what career path I'm choosing or like what I'm going to do with my life because right now i'm just so unsure and obviously by then i just want to have a, a solid idea um and i also i don't know really i'm also working towards passing my a levels like i could get my grades given to me who knows but <laughs> would love to pass so yeah i'm planning for 2021 Oh honey, I am getting on the next plane out of here once lockdown is over. I'm going on holiday at least once this year. I'm just fed up with the UK and its weather and it's just so boring. I just want to be out there living my life, not stuck in here. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is literally all. So thank you all for sending me your questions and also thank you for watching this YouTube video. Um, if you could all like and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And if you wanted to follow my Instagram and my TikTok, I'll leave them down here. So yeah, thank you.